Footnotes from the Life Application Study Bible. Herod the Great died in 4 BC of an incurable disease. Rome had trusted him to keep the peace throughout the region, but Rome didn't trust his sons. Herod knew that Rome wouldn't give his successor as much power as he'd had, so he divided his kingdom into three parts, one for each of three of his sons. Asielus received Judea, Samaria, and Idumea. Herod and Antipas received Galilee and Perea. Herod Philip II received Traconitz, and Asielius, a violent man, began his reign by slaughtering 3,000 influential people. Nine years later, he was banished. God didn't want Joseph to go into the region of this evil ruler. Nazareth sat in the hilly area of southern Galilee, near the crossroads of great caravan trade routes. The town itself was rather small and insignificant. The Roman garrison in charge of Galilee was housed there. The people of Nazareth had constant contact with people from all over the world, so world news reached them quickly. The people of Nazareth had an attitude of independence that many of the Jews despised. This may have been why Nathaniel commented, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? The Old Testament does not record the specific statement that he, quote, would be called a Nazarene, end quote. Many interpreters believe, however, that Matthew was referring to Isaiah chapter 11, verse 1, where the Hebrew word for branch is similar to the word for Nazarene. Or he may have been referring to a prophecy unrecorded in the Bible. In any case, Matthew painted the picture of Jesus as a true Messiah announced by God through the prophets, and he made the point that Jesus the Messiah had unexpectedly humble beginnings just as the Old Testament had predicted. Jesus, a small child without credentials from a no-name town, would upset the Roman world and the religious elite in Jerusalem. Jesus had begun to make all things new.